So um, I was born uh, in a business family, so I was told always to get into the business and do nothing except making money. And that never inspired me because money is not everything in life. It is important, but it is not everything in life. Road safety came into my life in the year 1998 when one of my friends died in an accident and that inspired me to work towards road safety. It's been 19 years and I'm a part of the police commissioner Jaipur and I'm the deputy chief. I'm heading a wing of 400 people who are volunteers and we endlessly work towards saving lives. Our aim is to just save one life a year. Just this and it's like we've done wonders. We've, we've so, saved so many people, we've done CPRs, we've done post-accident cases, we've done preventive uh, you know, measures, we've been training in schools, colleges, institutions. And it has been good, you know, because at the end of the day, we feel so nice. You know, when we sleep, we have a very you know, peaceful sleep because we are doing something for the society. And we, we, we strongly feel that, you know, if you do something for the society, it always comes back to you, maybe in the form of, you know, self-satisfaction. Um, regarding animals, I rescue reptiles and dogs and kittens and queens and anything you name it, starting from humans, being in the self-defense as well, civil defense as well. Um, so I am Vice President People for Animals, Delhi, and uh, for Rajasthan, uh, we've been doing rescues and I've done over 28,000 and counting rescues every day and night. I never leave a rescue. I can leave my job or my money, but I never leave a rescue because that's a life I save. And I inspire people and I wish, you know, more people do like me, you know, they also inspire others to, you know, follow in. I'm not into fundraising. Usually um, organizations, they, they, they focus on fundraising and doing events. I don't do that. I want people to make it a way of life and, you know, go ahead with it. You know, I, I feel so nice if I save a snake, if I save a family, you know, and they, 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 the snake is rescued, the family is rescued. The, the ecosystem is, you know, maintained, the equilibrium is maintained. Why not? We are doing something for the world. So environment, world, everything. So animals, road safety, this all comes together. And uh, this is, you know, it may, makes me feel stronger in myself, not to prove to anybody, not to get any national or international award, but within myself, I'm very happy. Okay, uh, uh, and this is really good. Uh, one, you know, simple question comes to my mind, if we talk about the snakes in India, yeah. probably 65% of them, they are non-poisonous, 35% they are poisonous. Okay. So the moment you rescue a snake, what if a poisonous snake comes in your way and, you know, how do you handle such situations? Like? Yeah, so this is experience. So at the end of the day, uh, experience matters. This is what I would tell my peers and my, my friends that if you are not trained and if you do not have an experience, just observe, learn as much as you can. This is what I've been doing. I'm still studying, you know, okay, being so a doctor. Been, been a situation where when uh, a cobra or, uh, you know, a poisonous snake has attacked you. And yeah, yeah, there are situations where, you know, where we, risks, where we risk our lives and, you know, it becomes very difficult for us to, you know, the most important thing is the fear, you know, that our family members, they will kill us before the snake poison does. So um, that's ironical, yeah. So there are situations wherein we need to get, wear in the proper glove, we need to use the hooks and the boxes. So there are ways, you know, how and how you can save yourself from being bitten. Um, specifically, if we talk about, there are rescue techniques wherein we never touch the snake. And uh, these techniques I've learned over a period of 17 years. and. I, I, I think now we do rescues wherein we are at no risk. But however, sometimes we need to, you know, work, uh, we, we need to risk our lives. Right, right. That's really, very really good. Plan. I don't think you are probably very few people in the world they are into it. But yes, so what is the message? Would you like to give a message to the young generations or the people uh, uh, who, who, who want to be here, you know? As you said, like, your family wants to. Uh, wanted you to, you know, earn a lot of money, a lot of money. Probably that's what uh, across the world, if we talk about our parents, they want uh, their kids to uh, be well settled and for them well settled means should have a, you know, good house, uh, good car, car, good cars. G, G, G. I mean, at the end of it, if you analyze it, all of them, they are running after money. So what, kind, what message would you like to give to such uh, students or the, the kids? Definitely the youth, they are the future leaders of the country. and. 
Um, I would say the future global leaders, not only the country. I would not be country specific anywhere. Let's be globally, uh, you know, I, I strongly feel the youth should now focus not only on education, uh, you know, not only on educating themselves, the academics, but then learning life. And it's not always important to have money. You know, money is not everything in life. You need to have a heart. You need to heal the world. You need to, you know, do something that makes you happy. There are so many uh, cases, uh, you know, which are being reported now of depression, suicides, and a lot of, you know, ill things which are happening, negative things which are happening. So this is just your illusion, you know. You need to come out of it. Be, you need to be positive and work towards yourself. It's not for the country, not for the world, not for anybody else, but for yourself. Life is a gift. You should live it to the best, to the fullest. Science was a, a great talking to you. Sure. One thing I just now you have so much of qualities. You are doing so much for the society. You are doing so you. much for the animals. Thank now, you. Uh, how do you inculcate those skills into the students? Uh, uh, what you are teaching uh, in the classes, basically, uh, you are making them to Gee. earn money. You are making uh, your students to go for the business. Gee. Gee. So how how do you? Because it goes against the theory of a business school. Is that right? Or uh, is the part of your, you know, if we talk about uh, Dakshida to create Gee. honors for the world, is like, you know, yeah. there is something behind you. So how yeah. do you, you know, put tune it together? Yeah, very true, very true, sir. It's, a, it's an amazing thing you've asked. So now to be a donor in the world, you need to have some dough. So to get the dough and to be a donor, you need to first earn. So it is not always that money is your focus. Money is a byproduct. You know, it's like you need to earn, first become something in life and then work towards it. And then, you know, eventually it becomes a lifestyle. So it is always like you first make, you know, charity begins at home. I would say no. Charity begins with yourself, never home. First, you do it for yourself, then you do it for your family. And that, that is how, you know, you go ahead in life. So if you want to be a donor, you need to have some dough in your pocket as well. So I would first, uh, you know, I would like to, you know, uh, tell my fellow future leaders to first become something in life, earn good money definitely for themselves. But then money is not the focus. Your focus is doing good. And even if you've not earned well in life, it doesn't matter. Your deeds matter. So it's always, you know, live your life. Do not just exist. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.